So here we have our two steering knobs. Pushing your right hand forward would make the boat go to the right or to starboard. So moving our right hand forward pulls the boat to starboard. Pushing your left hand forward would make the boat go to the left or towards port. Moving our left hand forward would turn the boat to port. You can see the yeah. rudder on the back part of that skeg there moving back and forth as we move our hands. And again, when you push your left hand forward, the stern of the boat actually goes to the right and the boat will track left then. Pushing your right hand forward would push the stern of the boat to the left, making the boat track to the right. So the bow never really moves left or right. It's all about the stern moving left or right and then the boat tracking that direction. So right hand forward towards starboard, left hand forward towards port. So here we're looking at how the boat's going to steer through the water. We have an eight here with the skeg in the rudder straight and the water flowing along the hull. Here we have where you've put your left hand forward in the boat. So you're trying to turn the boat left. So you've got your, your skeg and your rudder and with your left hand forward, the rudder is going to turn to the left and that's going to in turn push the stern to the right. You see our, our big arrow down here, stern going to the right. And the boat will pivot somewhere around bow or two seats, somewhere around there when you're using your rudder. So the bow will go slightly to the left, the stern really just goes to the right, and that is what gives the illusion that you're turning left. So with your left hand forward, this rudder turns to the left, pushes the stern right, and the bow begins to go off to the left. And of course, vice versa would also be true if you turn your rudder to the right, the stern would go left, and the bow would track off to the right. Another way to turn the boat is when the boat already is at speed and you have run and you decide to have one side or one seat put their blade in the water. So looking here is if we were to have seven seat hold water, we could imagine this is our boat and this is our seven seat oar and they drop that blade in the water. It's going to pivot about the blade or about that drag factor. So you drop the blade in the water for seven seat and the boat's going to pivot much like that. So you're going to see a lot of... Uh, turn from the bow, the bow's going to go pretty far right, and the stern's actually going to go a little left. You can see how the stern kicks out a little to the left there as well. If we were to have bow seat drop their blade in the water, then it would pivot about bow seat's blade. So dropping that in the water, we would see the bow go a little to the right, and the stern kick out quite a bit to the left. So we've got that little arrow to the right there, big arrow to the left there. So always be conscious of that when you're coming into a dock, when you're trying to maneuver your boat in tight spaces, who do you really want to have hold water? Who do you really want to have row to get you the right pivot point or the right angle to turn your shell left or right? And just be conscious of how it's actually turning. Say you're approaching a dock that's uh, you know, right here and you're in this boat and you want to turn away from the dock because you're afraid you're going to hit it. Well, you wouldn't want to put your left hand forward and turn to the left. You would want to turn to the right actually and push your stern away from the dock to keep you from hitting the corner right there. So just be conscious about where your pivot point is. Thanks for watching this. Hopefully you found it helpful. Best of luck to you.